You see, one of the many problems that we face in this very fast-paced, full-on, 24-7 society that we all live in, this consumerist landscape, is getting locked into a form of mutual validation loop with a woman that we're interested in, you've got her phone number, and now you're messaging each other, and you almost get stuck into a kind of pattern, right? You message her in the morning, she responds, you go back with something an hour or so later, it's all a little bit cheeky, it's all a little bit flirty, maybe you send a couple of pictures, whatever, and you get locked into this loop of doing that. Now, the most dangerous thing that you can do is to get somebody's phone number and then never translate that to an actual physical date, or at least leave it too long so that you haven't translated it into a, a real physical date and then it kind of goes off the boil. That's the worst possible thing you can do. If you get a phone number from somebody that you're attracted to, then it is on you to make a physical meeting, a date, happen as quickly as you possibly can, right? Because uh, everything else is just foreplay. Everything else is just mental masturbation, really. Um, this backwards and forwards on text, on, on DM or whatever, it doesn't really mean anything until you actually meet in real life because it's meeting in real life where the chemistry happens, okay, and where things can obviously progress in real life. Um, there are other circumstances though. So it might be that you're traveling around, you're traveling around a lot, and you get uh, the phone number or the Instagram perhaps of a woman that you're interested in, but you've left the city, you've traveled, maybe you're in a different country, you're not gonna be back in that particular city for a, a week, a couple of weeks, a month or whatever. So you're keeping in contact with her over message okay and this is where it can start to get sticky because you do need to keep in contact you do need to keep the flame alive in some way i mean some people have a habit of they'll meet a girl in a particular city and then they'll go back to that city like a month later and just hit her up on message and yeah maybe she'll come out for sure but equally if you haven't kept anything going at all in the background i think that's not the best way to proceed i think it's better to keep keep the keep your iron in the fire as it were uh, before you just turn up unexpectedly one day I think it's good to keep that relationship going and you can build a relationship over message don't get me wrong you can share a lot of your personality and of course these days with multimedia we can send videos we can do video calls we can send audio messages a text we can send gifts we can send memes there's all kinds of different things you can do to showcase your personality and to help to build that relationship with that other person so it's all great don't get me wrong the technology is great but the problem comes when you get locked into this kind of validation loop and when that happens usually not exclusively but usually it's when the woman is kind of humoring you because she likes the attention, she likes the validation that she's getting, but she doesn't really intend to meet up with you in real life. Why wouldn't she intend to meet up with you in real life, you may ask, if she's given you her contact details? Well, who knows? Many, many different reasons. It could be anything. Maybe she has got a, a boyfriend already. Maybe she is uh, in a relationship. Maybe she's just like not really, you know, maybe she's just not like not really in the market to be dating somebody at the moment. Okay. You don't know. And it doesn't really matter what the actual reason is. We're not here to psychoanalyze other people. The point of it is that you don't want to get locked into that sort of validatory mutual sort of pat on the back kind of texting situation where it's never really going to materialize. It's never really going to come to anything, okay? It's just not a healthy place to be. And the problem that guys have is that they can, they can set too much store on it. You know, they can think, well, I've got, you know, there's Elizabeth that I'm texting and she's over in, uh, she's over in Mexico and I'm going to go back to Mexico later in the year. So, you know, at least, at least that's in the bag, you know, the guy may be thinking. And of course, as I say, until you actually meet in real life, until you actually test that chemistry in real life, particularly if things haven't progressed physically between the two of you, which sometimes happens, then it all means nothing really. None of it means anything. You know, you had a great conversation, so what? You had a great text exchange. She sent you some, you know, risque pictures of herself wearing negligee. It doesn't, none of it matters. None of it matters until you meet up in real life, in person, and you test the chemistry there and then in real time. That's all that matters. Everything else is just stuff and nonsense. It's ephemera, okay? So avoid getting into long drawn out message, electronic message conversations with a woman that you're romantically interested in, unless there's a very good reason why that's happening. So you, you are on different sides of the world. There is an intention to meet up soon. Whatever, you know? Um, only on very, very rare occasions would I keep it going for longer. Um, for longer with somebody other than that you know if i really like them or if there's been some previous history between the two of us or 
some extenuating circumstances. But, and, and this, by the way, this happens in relationships as well. So you may even have a girlfriend, you have a girlfriend and you guys text each other every morning, you text each other every mid-morning, then lunchtime, and, then, and, and you're locked into this pattern of texting. And the texting itself, I believe, is addictive. When the WhatsApp thing, you know, you get your little WhatsApp notification through, you get that little dopamine hit. It's addictive for you, it's addictive for her. And okay, you're in a relationship with her, well fine, you wanna keep in touch, whatever. You know, you can have some banter during the daytime, that's all very nice, it's part and parcel of being in a relationship. But just be aware that you are becoming locked into a pattern that it can be difficult to emerge from. Um, sometimes in a breakup situation, one of the most difficult things is actually how do you stop the texting? Because you, you used to text her every day at 10 a.m. and now what are you, are you meant to just not? You know, breaking that pattern, as stupid as it sounds, can feel really difficult. It can feel psychologically very difficult because not only are you in love with her and you know in some way addicted to her but you're also addicted to this process this process of receiving validation this process of receiving a dopamine hit from the message that you receive from her and the, you know you send her a, a nice message with a cheeky wink she sends you a nice message back with a cheeky wink that gives you that hit you know i mean look at it now you know we're in the middle of piccadilly circus here um we live in a very fast paced uh, high octane society where we are used to having our needs met, our consumerist needs met instantaneously, right? And if we if they're not met instantaneously, um, we start to feel bad and we start to complain. Okay, this is how the world is now. And your relationships with other human beings, unfortunately, are part and parcel of that same thing. You know, when you go out to meet women, you are being, um, they are evaluating you almost in competition with the other things that entertain them, with their Netflix package, with their social media, with their whatever else it is, right? You know, the, the movies they watch, the books they read, uh, the clothes they buy, all of these things that give them entertainment. You're just another source of entertainment, okay? And, you know, that's fine because there's give and take in all of these things. She's to some degree gonna be a source of entertainment for you as well. You know, mutual valid, uh, validation, as I say, is mutual, okay? She wants to get validated. You're getting validated as well if she's responding. So, you know, it's not blaming women for this per se, but just be aware that the whole way that our society is now geared up is to create these addictive patterns. And remember, who's benefiting from this? The tech companies, okay? Because the tech companies want you to stay on their, on the, on their apps. All right, you know, WhatsApp wants you to be on there sending messages. Instagram wants you to be on there sending DMs, okay? So in the end, we're all slaves to the algorithm, really. And you've just got to be aware of that and aware of how that is impinging on your on your personal life and just, just take note and tr just try to, you know, as I say, don't get into long drawn out text messages with somebody if you're not actually going to meet them in real life. And if it's somebody you're seeing, just try to vary it up a little bit. Try not to be too robotic about, right, this is duh, 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 every time. Try and bring some variety into it, at least, because you don't want to get too stuck in this pattern that then it's very difficult to emerge from later. Anyway, I hope all that makes sense. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Write a comment underneath. It really helps with the algo, because we're all slaves to the algorithm, remember, even me. Uh, and yeah, if you would like to get some coaching with me, if you want to talk about your particular dating situation. I've got a number of different programs that can really help you. Uh, I would love to get on a call with you. So just uh, go to the calendar below, book a time with me and we can get on the blower and have a conversation and see how I can help. Okay. Uh, with that being said, hope you enjoyed the video. See you again very soon. Bye-bye.